Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand keeper circuits. Now before we get into keeper circuits or a keeper transistor, what we need to understand is the drawbacks or some of the drawbacks of dynamic circuit. Here I have shown a dynamic inverter where my PMOS and NMOS or my pre-charge and my evaluate transistors technically or my header or the footer transistor have the clock input phi and my input is given as A to my N mode. Now let's see some problems which are happening in this dynamic circuit. We already saw that dynamic circuits read or need monotonicity requirement or needs monotonically rising input and to avoid that problem we connect an inverter at the output of a dynamic circuit, a static inverter and the combination becomes a domino circuit. We have already seen this. Still there are some problems involved with dynamic circuits. Let's understand each one of them. First, let's presume phi was equal to zero. That means, and let's call this node as x. That means my output was pre-charged to VDD. That means x was equal to VDD. Now, this is fine. But at the same time now, let's presume that phi is equal to one and a is equal to zero. If A is equal to 0, that means this NMOS transistor is off and phi equal to 1 means this PMOS transistor is also off. So technically, X should be able to hold its value. But we know that when we studied DRAM also and other transistors or other circuits, we have already seen that when a capacitor is present at the output node and the transistor is off, there are some leakage currents because of PN junction diode, junction leakage, subthreshold etc. This leakage current or charge leakage will tend to lose the value at the output and hence we use refresh mechanism in case of dynamic ramps. Same is the phenomena here also that this x will tend to lose its value if the input a is zero in this case. So one problem is losing out on the value, correct? In our language we will say charge leakage problem. Now let's see the other problem. The other thing which can happen here is when phi is equal to 0, x is equal to VDD, all is fine. When phi is equal to 1, we can think that A is 0 and x should stay to VDD. However, if this node A is affected by noise and due to some external noise or due to some noise, it tends to just have an input voltage greater than Vt n or just slightly greater than the threshold voltage of the NMOS. See this is an unwanted signal. It is just that this has happened by an error. But if this happens, we know that my transistor is in the evaluation phase and in the evaluation phase, it will take the value of its input. That means in this case by noise also if A rises its value above the threshold voltage, a wrong value will be interpreted. In simple words, dynamic circuits are susceptible to noise as well. Or I can say that they have bad noise margin. Now both these problems can be easily overcome by using a keeper transistor. It's a very straightforward circuit which we will just see quickly. 